and welcome to Mom Powers. I'm your host, Colleen Krubel. Today, we are going to be talking about what it's like to have a preteen or a teen in your house. But before we jump right in, I want to say thank you to the Ohio University Women's Center. As always, that's where we film our podcast, so thank you very much. So, ladies, thank you for being here. Today, we have with us Aubrey Crummert and Andy Walla. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves a little further, tell a little bit about yourselves and your children. So, Aubrey, we can start with you. Okay. So, I am Aubrey Crummert. I am the owner of Real World Organizing. I'm a professional organizer. I've been in business for six years. Um, I have two children. My son is 12 as of two days ago, and my daughter is nine. Okay. I'm Andy Walla. I am a professor. I teach video production. Uh, shout out to my great students who are helping make this show. Yes. Um, and I have a 12-year-old, soon to be 13, next month, seventh grader at home. And he's getting to be quite the handful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's just, let's dive right into this conversation because I have two children who are only almost nine and six. So I have a little while to go until I'm dealing with the preteen teenager. But from just in talking with other moms, what I've heard is that there are big changes coming. And so I just want to be a little bit prepared. So it doesn't matter who goes first, just tell me in the last year, maybe two years, what kind of changes have been most significant in Sabos, your son, who is 12, and Mylan, mm -hmm. who is 12, almost 13. Yeah. So what are some of the big changes in behavior, appearance, <laughs> interaction? I think clothes has been a big thing in the last two mm -hmm. years. Um, especially, I uh, thought that maybe raising a son might not have that element of fashion. See, that's actually surprising to me. That's the and first we thing have a fashion home. guy at home. Nice. And <laughs> I think some of the things that we spend on clothing that he wants or shoes, it costs more than things that I've had, you know, for, you know, as an adult who's not growing, it just kills me some of the m money that we spend on clothing. Um, mm -hmm. And it switches often. It's not like, oh, gosh, I really want this. But then next month, it's a different fashion item or accessory or shoe. It's a, it's something I did not plan for at all Very in life to have a son interested in that. And so how long ago did this start? Probably about, uh, probably in sixth grade, like at the beginning of sixth grade. That's okay. when it really started. So it's been about two years we've been in this fashion. Okay. Very weird. So <laughs> do you think this comes from his circle of friends? Are they all fashion conscious or no and it's no. funny because he says his friends call him out on it a lot and pick on oh, him wait. for certain things and so he does it to get that weird attention um so he's always trying to make a fashion statement he wants to be the first person to wear oh, okay. something or... oh, good for him so what That's about his brave. hair then yeah, it does is the brave. hairstyle come into play oh too? yes the hair products uh, oh. obviously <laughs> i am a fan of the hats uh, my husband is also a hat wearer um, but he spends a lot of time styling his hair and and doing all the you know so does he wear it short long swoops short what does swoops he, do? he changes it up a lot oh, and lately we have now introduced the bandana headband um into the wardrobe so he'll style his hair and then put the bandana on top of it it's very weird has, has he wanted it? to do any color uh no we have not gotten there yet okay all right uh, yeah <laughs> so when you waters. with the clothing is it like Sports attire, like the Nike, you know, those kind yeah. of things. So are... sixth grade was yeah. all about the athletic wear. Had okay. to have the Under Armour, the Nike brand, um, you know, yeah. Adidas. It was very sporty. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, uh, and now in seventh grade, we've transitioned into more, you know, he wants uh, Tommy Hilfiger jeans oh or, my. you know, certain kind of uh, guess, you know. He has a guess leather jacket now that clearance 20 bucks that's good <laughs> i can afford that good, yeah um but it's different name brands not the wow. sporty stuff not wow. the not the joggers like he wore in sixth grade interesting <laughs> wow i would say my son has always been into athletic wear like for since probably first grade jeans have been considered handsome clothing for yeah. him handsome so okay. he knows that twice a year he has to wear jeans and he rolls his eyes <laughs> and he deals with it so it's always been Athletic, I mean, really, mm -hmm. cargo pants, never, yeah. ever, ever okay. would he wear. Um, so tennis shoes every day. 
Like, like sweatpants or like athletic pants. Okay. But do they have to be name brand? He's a fan of Adidas. Um, okay. We had a friend of the family who has since moved who used to work for Adidas. And so she used to get cool. Adidas clothing. Nice. And he, um, I mean, she was really my friend, but he was like, oh, well, I'm glad we have her then. All of a sudden she had a purpose to him because she could get him like some yeah. Adidas like pre-clothing or something every once in a while. So he thought he, that kind of redeemed her in his eyes. So clothing hasn't been an issue. Hair is not a problem yet. We're not, he combs his hair every day now, which is a Progress. special thing really <laughs> with him. Whereas before he was just like, oh, it's fine. I, you know, I mean, he only wears tennis shoes. It's always been like that. Um, changes that I've seen with him. Physically, I mean, their bodies change. They process yeah. food different in the way that, like, oh, yeah. you oh, yeah. know, they do. They eat more. And Where then I think, yeah, so, yeah. you know, we do have to watch his food intake and his exercise yeah. more than anything. Okay. Because you're seeing, like, what his body type, how his body is, how the hormones are affecting mm -hmm. how he processes food and metabolizes okay. food and all that. So, for sure. So, there's been a change in that. In his body, yes. In the last year yeah since fifth grade I would okay. say for sure okay um and some of that might have been stress too now that I think about it because he had a rough fifth grade year for sure okay. so I almost wonder if there was like some stress mm -hmm. kind of body I mean it affects us so why wouldn't it affect them right. if their hormones are going crazy right. <laughs> um does he um interact differently with your daughter now that he's getting a little older they've been arguing more <laughs> okay yes. but that right. could be just as much her as it could be him okay you know I mean sure. she's yeah. you know f yeah I mean I can't she's I'm, in the third she's in the third grade she's in the third grade yeah, yeah. pesky little sister yes yeah see we don't have that 